Neelam in Toronto writes, Hey Paul, hey Neelam, do we need audiophile grade Ethernet switches to clean up the sound of a PS Audio Air Lens? That's our streaming device. I just got an advertisement for one such switch from a reputable dealer in Hong Kong. He also offered the use of a Rune Bridge if needed, and also perhaps an external master clock. I'm wondering how much improvement can be achieved using these accessories, and is an Ethernet switch necessary? Well, uh, I would say no. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, not with an air lens. Maybe with some other products, for sure. An air lens has gone to great trouble to isolate everything from the input to the middle to the output. Now, most Ethernet-based or USB-based uh, streaming devices, which, and I've said this before, these streaming devices are computers, right? If you have a streamer, whether it's an air lens or whatever you have, that's actually a, a single board computer, an SBC inside. And it's running an operating system. It, it's just like, a, and, and many of them are just little Linux computers. You can use a Raspberry Pi, for example. You can use any number of things. And while we might say, oh, 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 Raspberry Pi, I mean, those are powerful little computers. But at their core, they are computers. And they're noisy, right? So part of what we do with the air lens is we have that noisy SBC, that noisy environment, right? And then we have a noise-free zone here and a noise-free zone here. And in the middle, we have the noisy computer. So when you put in an Ethernet signal into an air lens, it, gets, it does its thing through the isolators, and then it travels through the air, leaving no trace of ground or noise, and you get a perfectly clean signal into our little noisy computer and then the output of our streamer, this noisy little output, does the same thing. It travels through the air and goes to a very clean output stage with its own fixed clock and out into the world. And that's why the air lens sounds so doggone good. Because regardless of what you put in, what you get out is near perfect and noise free. So these master clocks. Well, you don't need a master clock because we already give you a master clock that is one of the best clocks out there. For other streamers, you might be very well off with an Ethernet bridge to clean it up. I highly recommend it. And certainly, if you're using USB, get yourself one of those little matrix devices. Get yourself a USB cleaner upper because that is connecting another noisy computer all the way up to your other computer inside of your streamer. And you want to clean that up, especially USB. So, okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.